नमस्ते एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो विश यू ऑल अ वेरी हैप्पी न्यू ईयर इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट थ्री थिंग्स दैट यू नीड टू लेट गो इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री सो द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट यू नीड टू लेट गो इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री इज द पास्ट एवरी थिंग फ्रॉम योर पास्ट दैट यू हैव आउट ग्रोन इट्स टाइम टू लेट इट गो बिकॉज यू आर गोइंग थ्रू अ न्यू बिगनिंग एंड द न्यू बिगनिंग्स रिक्वायर the end of something and you can't keep carrying the things from your past that you have outgrown it can be your relationships friendships jobs anything that you feel that you are no longer a vibrational match to it it's time to let it go the reason it's so important to let go of the past is because you need to create space for something that's going to come to you in the future It's like you're constantly communicating to your future self when you let go of the past in the present. And the more you let go, the more you realize that how much energy was being consumed by all the past energies. It's mentally draining to carry all that baggage that does not even belong in your life anymore. So when we are talking about letting go of the people from the past, It's not always that you physically cut them off. It's just that you mentally realize the place that you have to give them in your life. It's like you change how you see them. You realize that you are no longer the same person and they are no longer the same person. There is no vibrational match. Now the relationship also needs to change because the relationship was based on the vibrational match. Now it is no longer there and it's okay to outgrow people, situations, things. it's perfectly okay there's nothing wrong with that so you have to normalize in your mind in your life to outgrow things this notion that you have to always keep up with everyone no matter you outgrow them no matter how much you grow it's not just possible because we attract things in our lives based on our vibrational frequency based on our energy and when you change your energy you are bound to change your reality but certain aspects of us they want to carry the past they are too much identified attached to that past self to the past experiences but it is no longer there it's just stopping you from going through that new beginning so you can't realize this experience this until you let go of the past mentally psychologically everything that you're attached to let it go from your energy field and just allow yourself to manifest a new life for yourself a new you that is not a derivative of the past the fate of your future self is not decided by your past but by your present self by how much you let go and create space for your future self but the aspect of us that is really attached to the past that is the ego and this is the second thing that you need to let go the ego the ego is your identity and it can't have any identity if you don't have any past so that's why it's always grabbing the past it always like to identify itself with the attachments of the past with the experiences of the past and it limits you the problem with the ego is that it creates a box for you an identity i am this i am that and because of that box you are unable to see beyond you are unable to see the things that are possible beyond that box it's like you become trapped so when we say we have to let go of the ego we have to understand first of all that what is the ego it is the identity and especially the identity that was programmed by the system based on fear that's why it's important to question your identities and ask yourself who am i what do i really want do i always want to live in fear and survival or do i want to live a life that is driven or guided by something higher so for that you need to be able to question your identity your box that you're living in otherwise it's not possible and another problem with the ego is that it is really controlling it doesn't know how to flow how to surrender how to trust the universe so it's always controlling it's a control freak so when you allow yourself to become aware of your ego you let go of control because you realize that there is something higher than the ego which is your higher self that does not need control when we talk about letting go of the ego we don't mean that you should not have an ego you will always have an identity a name something that will help you to identify existentially but we are talking about the psychological me the idea of who i am you should know that it's not the entirety of you it's just a concept an idea to help you move in this world 
but the more you become aware and you ask yourself who is this identity and you try to find it while meditating while going within you will see that it's just a concept it it is not something that you can grab it's something that we created for our own convenience to function in this society but it's a concept and that concept has possessed us we have lost it, the touch with our spirits because of that ego we think that's the only truth and because it's a concept it wants to sustain itself it is always in fear it's always running it's always trying to grab things because deep down you know it's an idea it's a concept you can't grab the ego it's in your mind so you don't have to try to drop it you simply have to observe it look at it analyze it just watch it watch yourself when you meditate try to see where is the ego try to find it and you will see it doesn't exist how can you drop something that doesn't exist at the first place but you can only come to this conclusion when you go on this path of seeking seeking your true self your higher self so when you are able to go on this journey of discovering yourself your true self naturally you let go of the ego it is not something that you do by force but it's a happening it happens on its own when you are just looking for it and you find that it is no longer there this realization is very important otherwise you will always be a slave of your ego a concept you will be a slave of a concept an idea that's been planted in your mind and that identity will decide your life it will keep you in fear it will keep you in survival it will never help you realize something of purpose so letting go of the ego is directly connected to surrendering to the higher power to trusting the universe to flowing with the universe instead of forcing your way to live a life in alignment with your spirit so don't derive yourself with all the identities no you are not just a small wave you are the whole damn ocean experiencing itself as a wave that knowing is very important that you are the whole damn ocean and the ego wants you to believe that you are small that you need to protect yourself that you should always be in survival consciousness so you have to break out of that prison the matrix of your ego that's the only thing which is your greatest barrier and the final thing that you need to let go is fear fear is something that stands between you and your highest self your highest timeline and we have many kinds of fear but at the very root the basic fear the very primal fear of man of human is the fear of death that's why it's always insecure about life that's why it's always in survival the human ego it thinks that it is separate from life from this existence that's why it's in constant fear it needs to survive it thinks if it doesn't do that it's going to die and you can also see it's somewhat ancestral for example when the humans were evolving in the times when we were hunters or gatherers we needed this primal instinct this survival instinct if we don't have that we will be hunted by some predator but now the times have changed it's like the humans themselves have become the predator for the planet itself the reason is because we are just in survival and only the human has the possibility to live beyond survival and that's possible when you let go of the fear the fear keeps you at survival and it's ironic that fear blocks your root chakra you feel insecure you don't feel supported grounded by something higher the reason the human ego exploits the planet is because it doesn't understand the planet is conscious the planet is aware it's mother earth it's not a thing to be exploited so you have to make yourself feel safe wherever you are you have to understand that you are on this planet earth this is the way to ground yourself that she is always there for you the mother earth she is always there for you protecting you guiding you you are always home this helps you to ground yourself to feel safe so this is existential truth that you are always on planet earth and if you are someone who feels everything is energy everything has consciousness so you are connected as consciousness your consciousness is connected to the consciousness of this planet from a really higher perspective you are just a small particle on this planet you are connected with the energy of this planet there is no denying that 
once you understand that you are able to feel safe but now the other thing is the fears related to the future the ego always lives in the fear of future because like i said it is always the base fear is the fear of death and it is something that's going to happen in the future so you have to constantly live in a fear state that you are insecure about the future that's why it wants to secure the future you are in a state of controlling the future all the time planning plotting you never trust the unknown you always want to stay in the known you have fear of the unknown the reason is that you feel afraid you don't know what's going to happen in the future and you constantly try to create security for the future and while trying to create security of the future you become a slave in the present because in the present you are no longer there your fears are controlling you the present is happening here and now it's immediate you can tap into it right here and right now but because of your fears you are living for the security that's going to come in the future that i need to make my future secure and that's why you are always giving energy to your fears and you are never able to follow your heart do something dare to do something that you love doing it doesn't mean that you don't do anything for the future it just means that you are not obsessive about it you also understand that uncertainty is part of life you can't make everything certain that's the adventure of life that life will always be uncertain even if you give your 100% there will still be a chance that things will go sideways because everything is uncertain to accept this truth is to realize that then the unknown is not something to be afraid of it's something to be embraced so the unknown is something that you need to embrace don't be afraid don't be fearful of the future embrace the future embrace the unknown the uncertain that's the only way you will discover something new that's the only way you can walk on a path of your spirit another fear that we have is the fear of the outcome fear of failing fear of not being successful if we try something new if you are always in such a state of fear how can you experiment how can you try something new how can you put yourself out there and shine your light because you think other people will reject you we have to face this truth that fear is the only thing that's stopping us and we can't allow it to influence our life all the time you just have to become aware that it's there but you don't have to act on it you have to act on your heart you have to act on the courage that you have so dare to follow your heart don't take the bait of your fears if you want to go through a new beginning you have to do something in a new way you have to experiment and with experiment you can't expect the same result you can't know the result that's the beauty of an experiment whenever you try something new you don't know what's going to happen that uncertain nature is the beauty of life so if you are insecure about the future you can never take a new step so you have to embrace the future you have to take that new step irrespective of your fears you can't wait for the fears to go away because as you start taking those steps you realize the path is being created then your fear just vanishes because you realize there's something higher that's taking care of you you take the first step you follow your heart you follow your spirit the next step is revealed and it's like a pathless path is being created for you so don't be afraid of the new and unknown embrace the new beginnings be guided by the love that you have in your heart by the courage that you have in your heart and keep letting go the past the ego and your fears so i hope you enjoyed this video you can like comment and share thank you for taking the time to subscribe you can also support me by hitting the thanks button much love to you all